Ah, welcome back guys. <laughs> Today the plan is to go for some halibut. We're gonna hopefully do a catch and cook and in this particular video uh, mainly share a lot with you guys because this channel is uh, built around being educational as well as entertaining uh, so hopefully there's something that you can take from this video we're gonna do our best today to share some tips and ways to get them we're gonna share a little bit about the tide the gear things like that so hopefully it'll help you get on your halibut your first halibut if you haven't caught one yet or help you fine-tune your game so that you catch more here with Ian today hey yo what's up Brought to slay the halibut I'm yeah I'm really excited really wow. excited I'm pumped yeah oh and it's mo more specifically it's surf halibut so we're gonna put the gear on we're gonna hit the surf and um, we'll catch you out there just really quick on the conditions it is outgoing tide right now it's gonna be outgoing tide for the next three hours prime prime time for halibut in our area you're looking at two hours after peak low tide so that first two hours of incoming tide is usually prime in one of our last videos where we caught like four halibut within an hour it was all the incoming tide that was pretty epic so if you guys want to see that and you haven't the link to that video is below but that gives you the scenario let's hit it <laughs> all right so these halibut they're pretty much ambush predators and if you can get your bait in the strike zone and low enough and you give it a pause get, let them get a good look at it they're gonna hit it so i'll use the rod tip a lot of the time to create the action and then kind of give it a bit of a pause so that fish can follow it in and sometimes if you work an area over and over and over your previous cast can actually set up your next cast in a sense that sometimes they'll just follow it and then they'll stop and then you can actually get them on your next cast if you go over the same area. There's a lot of weeds right now. I might drop shot it for, for a little bit. Yeah, just so much weeds. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a ton of seaweed in the water and we're getting some on our lures every time. So for now, as the tide's going out, I'm gonna drop shot it just because you can't really be as effective when there's too much seaweed. But farther out, yeah, you can get a couple, couple jerks in before you get snagged up, but I'm gonna go drop shot for a little bit. We'll go with a one ounce. That'll still keep it weedless. Come on. I, it might be seaweed. I don't know. Oh no, it's a, it feels, it's moving like a fish. Is it a fish? It's a fish. It's a fish. It's a fish. Oh, it's illegal. I think it's illegal, bro. No way. No. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> on the drop shot Dude, let's go let's go <laughs> yep right on the bottom lip that weedless presentation worked oh yeah perfect all right this could be illegal guys but on the drop shot look how it got him still worked even with that weedless presentation it's a nice one <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Beautiful California halibut. Let's get a measurement. 
Oh no! no? Nope. Oh no. 20, so 21 inch. 21 inches. They gotta be 22 inches to keep. Bummer. So close. So close. That was pretty sick. Whoa. All right, so now we're gonna set Ian up with a drop shot <laughs> after seeing that. We'll show you guys how to do a drop shot then. Let's make it a tutorial, let's go. So at this point of our session, we wanted to record right then and there how to tie this drop shot rig that just caught that fish. And what better way to do it than to set up Ian's rod with the drop shot set up, but show you guys how to do it. So let's take a look. This here is 40 pound, but we were using 20 pound tests. I'm going with 40 pound just because it's a little bit easier to see. Just imagine this is going to your rod. This is your basically long tag end. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tie on a three-aught worm hook right there. And then the bait that we're gonna put on this is your standard zoom fluke. It comes in this package right here. As you can see, we only have one left right over here. So let's go ahead and rig this up real quick. Uh, there's plenty of tutorials on how to do this online, but Let's go ahead and save you the time and just show you right in this video. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your worm hook, you're gonna take the tag end right here, feed it in the eyelet going downward, just like that. See that? It's right from top to bottom. And then you're gonna take it, you're gonna turn it around and go up through that same eyelet. So now what you're left with is this tag end. And you want to imagine this tag end is however long you want the hook to be away from your sinker. So now you're left with this hook that has the line going in and out or down and then back up through the eye. And now you have this part. All you're going to do is a simple overhand knot just like that. So I'll show you again right there. Got that, and you'll just create an overhand. Stick that through, and you're gonna stick the hook through that overhand that you just created, or that loop that you just created, and then you're gonna go ahead and cinch it down all the way, just like that. And then to ensure that your bait is the right orientation, you're going to take that tag end and you're going to slip it in that eye one more time like that and then you'll pull tight. And then now your hook should be horizontal and parallel with the bottom just like that. Now you're going to take your swivel or your snap swivel and then just tie that to the end. Again keeping in mind how far you want it off the bottom. In this example or this trip, we were about 10 inches off the bottom. So you're just gonna tie a quick knot, just like that, and you will affix your one ounce sinker to that swivel, just like that. So that is the setup, that is the drop shot rig. Now, you just need to put your fluke on. Again, this is a worm hook. So, the way that you'll do that is you'll take the hook and you'll put it down about, about a quarter inch and then you'll bend it outward just like that and you'll let it rest right here. And then you'll turn it over and you'll kind of see where that hook point is going to be and you'll go through where that hook point is going to come out. So you're just going to kind of eyeball that, go through and now that's what it looks like right there. And you can actually bury that hook point back into the soft plastic 
just like that. And now when the weeds go over it, it's not going to get hung up on that hook point. And now basically what's happening is your weight is on the bottom and you're dragging it along and this looks like a minnow and it has some really, really good action. I ended up tying this exact rig for Ian and then here's what happened. So I was just walking up and Ian hooks up. Fish on. Fish on. Is that your first cast? Yeah, it was. First cast. Please be illegal. Little guy. Little guy. Okay. Wait. Oh, wait. That might be illegal, bro. Oh, okay. That might be illegal. Oh, yeah. Catch and cook today. Dude. That's a solid one, bro. Yep. That's a solid one. Let's go. Let's go. Dude. That might be First legal. cast. <laughs> the fluke's doing work. I'll hold it to the zero. So zero, it's... Yeah, it's 22. 22 even? Mm-hmm. Yeah! With room to spare, yep. it's about 22 and a half. Let's go! Let's go! Dude. Let's go. Catch and cook. Yeah, we're doing a catch and cook today. Here, watch. Look, right at the tip of the mouth. Pull it tight. All the way to 22 and a half. Yeah, yeah a half. So a half inch is good enough. Yep. Heck yeah. Dude. Woo. Woo. Let's go, dude. Solid fish, Ian. Thank you. Yeah, buddy. Woo. Let's go, guys. That's two fish, like pretty much back to back. That was Ian's first cast with the drop shot. And it was legal by half an inch. So we're definitely doing a catch and cook today. This is what that rig looks like underwater. It really keeps the fluke in just the right strike zone in terms of depth from the bottom. We are starving, starving. Man, being out on the surf really builds up an appetite. How hungry are you? Scale one to 10. About a nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> Pretty hungry. All right, let's do this.
We'll hit it with the pepper plant. So real quick, thank you Monica and Leroy for the pepper plant. Some good seasoning. They have a hot sauce, but their seasoning is fire. to get one sear on one side then we're gonna flip it and then cover it that way it gets surrounded in heat but not get overcooked it's so easy to overcook halibut flippy time And we got our rice in some foil. I'm gonna put that on the side right here. Let that warm up. Let that sit probably a good three minutes and we'll be good to go. This is the, the topping right here. It's crispy garlic in chili sauce or chili oil. This is usually what they put on poke, but on any fish, it just adds that much more to it. It's kind of that next level. Let's get a small piece. That's so flavorful. The chili oil with the crispy garlic makes, brings out all the flavor. It's so good. And the pepper plant. Oh yeah. Yeah, the pepper plant's amazing. That is legit. Yeah. It's so moist. Yeah. Not flipping it on the grill and uh, flipping it only once and then covering up the grill really baked this very well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that hit the spot. So. We were tempted to like stop by Taco Bell or In-N-Out on the way home, but no, no. This makes it so much more satisfying. It was just an epic trip, guys. Epic trip. Being being able to show you guys how to do the drop shot and then Ian taking the drop shot for the very first time and catching one on his very first cast, that was ridiculous. And that was 10 minutes after catching like a 21 and a half incher. Again, they have to be 22 to be legal. This was 22 and a half. Just to summarize, man, it was it was a really, really good day. And we got some really good food right now. Let's just let you guys know, it, it's, it is delicious. Delicious. Mm. That was a textbook day for fishing. That was awesome. Food's amazing. It's all worth it. On that note, we're just gonna enjoy this. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, learned something. Hopefully it was entertaining. We'll catch you guys on the next one.